Over the five days of the festival, we typically welcome an average of 20,000 people. That's a lot of goompki, pierogi, and kielbasa to prepare and sell. The festival runs from 12 noon to 8 p.m. daily, but our volunteers arrive early and stay late so that everything is all set for our guests. Let's hear from some more of our longtime festival volunteers. Joining us are Agnieszka Mahala and Yaja and Henrik Andrzejczuk. Agnieszka, if you can't decide which Polish delicacies to try, purchasing a Polish platter is a good idea because it offers a sampling of goods. Agnieszka, you're the captain of the Polish platter booth. What do people get when they buy a Polish platter? Uh, we offer on the platter a, a pierogi, kielbasa, hunter stew, and of, of course, the delicious Polish bread. Mm -hmm. And why do people tend to like the Polish platter, a taste of Poland? Uh, they prefer taste of Poland platter because you have different variety of foods there and they can literally try. Other than that, we serve also the Polish sandwich with the sauerkraut, which is very popular too, usually on Saturdays with the English speaking visitors. Mm -hmm. And how long have you and your family been involved with the festival? Uh, 10 years. 10 years, that's a long time. So you can already see trends among yes. the, the, the guests. And I understand that your husband and sons are also volunteers. Yes, they're volunteers and they also, they do reenactment right here at the festival. Mm -hmm. And so 10 years is a long time to be a volunteer. What do you, what does the festival mean to you? It's a little bit of our Poland here. When we come in, our kids enjoy it. They can see our traditions and uh, they can actually meet new friends. We became a family in our booth uh, between the girls coming in from New York and some from PA. Uh, we're very close, even though sometimes we meet once a year for those two weekends, but mm -hmm. we became very close like a family and we enjoy it. And the mm -hmm. kids enjoy it. They wanted to come here. Literally, they have a mark in the calendars for the, so they don't book any vacations or anything. This is their vacation yeah. for the end of the summer. Mm -hmm. We heard that from others as well. Yes. Thank you for your long time service to oh, the festival. It's very fun. Yes. And at the Gawamki booth, guests are not only served delicious stuffed cabbage, but they're also served some fantastic disco polo music. <laughs> this is the party booth called the party booth. Um, Yaja and Henrik, how long have you been involved as volunteers at the festival? We've been involved over 20 years. 20 years is a long time. Why <laughs> do you decide to stay as a volunteer? We have so much fun and we are happy to help and uh, we like to sh the heritage, Polish heritage show to American people because they don't know much about Poland mm -hmm. and we like to teach our children our heritage and they enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, why is it so important to be volunteers? I think uh, because since we came from Poland uh, we kind of lost connection with our old country and when we found this place um, that brings our memory and we can uh, not only help, but we can actually enjoy to, to continue our Polish uh, culture, um, heritage, and at the same time we're helping this place to, um, to get more uh, people um, to, to, to the community. So during those five days of the festival, it really is like we have a little bit of Poland here in Doylestown, That's right. Pennsylvania. Yes. Yeah. I know that last year, um, Henrik, you did some renovations to the Gołomki booth. Tell us about that. You've been, again, a volunteer there in charge of this booth for 20 years. So what were the upgrades and why did you do them? Yes, I, I'm the captain of the booth, but I have very, um, very uh, good friends which helped me to, to run that booth because just me and my wife will not be able to do everything. But uh, two of my friends, Adam Szanowski and Norbert Benkowski, they actually renovate um, almost inside and out with uh, new uh, materials which uh, makes the booth look much, much better and it's much, much easier to clean, keep everything nice and uh, clean so you know when we serve the food we not have to worry you know like um, everything is clean and, and ready to, and to serve. And it's easy to clean. And it's easy, easy to clean. To clean. Mm -hmm. And we can have more fun. <laughs> That's nice. right. More time to, uh, for us. You know. for, to, to listen to disco polo That's music. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and one last question. Many people don't realize this, but the, the festival is over five days, but the volunteers, especially the booth captains, do a lot of work ahead of time. Can you describe to us some of the work that's involved in preparing a booth for the festival? 
it's a lot of work, but we enjoy it. And we have to clean, we have to set everything up, paint, but we enjoy it because we get together, we have fun, and that makes us feel so good that and we can you know, do something good. good. And makes kind of competition like between the other boots, you know, which boot looks better. And, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. see, so. behind the scenes, we didn't know this. Okay. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. And Agnieszka, how about your boot? I mean, our booth, uh, we come in and before the festival, we trying to prepare, we're trying to help out to prepare. I mean, some people, they might not realize, but those volunteers that they're coming here for so many years, they're coming a few weeks before the, and we're trying to prepare not, I mean, I know they were talking about our boots, which we're calling our boots, yes, but, yes. but we help, try to help prepare the whole festival. For our, the goal is for the festival to run smoothly and and look we better every look better year. each year like it's became like part of us to maybe make this as our festival that's right yeah and mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. it's fun mm -hmm. i mean it's hard work but it's also it's fun. worth it mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. worth it mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. On behalf of the festival committee and um, and all of the, the guests who come and enjoy the festival, thank you. Thank you oh, for thank all you. of your hard thank work, you for, for your volunteering, and thank you for joining us thank today. Thank you so much. Thank you. thank you. We're here with some of our longtime dedicated Cora volunteers from the Polish-American Festival.